hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to use a radio button control in our qt qml application and how to use its basic property or how to uh, apply the style sheet of on a radio button control or how to use its event so let's start let's simply first import the qt qt control 2.15 and now create the one row to display our radio button in a one row manner so now let's create the radio button and use the id property for the set the name in qt widget application we use object name property here we use id property okay and for the set the text so just use the text property option one also you can set the font property like point size is set 20 and also set the bold property uh, also set the height properties uh, 60 okay so this is the one radio button just simply copy this code and create a more radio button as for your need to and also create the three change the text name text property value and now let's run the application you can see the three radio buttons is appeared in our application qtqml application so now let's here just also set the anchor and display our radio buttons in center of the application parents or also you can set the spacing between two radio buttons so here we set the 30 okay so you can see the space between two radio buttons control now let's create the uh, event or also you can set the uh, signal so let's create the on check change event just simply write the uh, print the message when this event is called uh, option one status change to print the status Okay, now just simply copy the this line in our for radio button two and three. Here two and here three. Now let's run the application. Change here your uh, ID. You can see when I select the option one, you can see the current status of the option one, and when I select the option two, you can see the, the uh, current status of option 1 is false and status option 2 status is changed to true ok so the event is called automatically when you when status is changed object change ok then when check status is changed now let's apply the some style sheet or design the our radio button as per your need so let's set the background here first we set the border width uh, is uh, set 3 and also set the uh, border color ok so let's pick one color let's select this one ok now just simply copy this code in for radio button 2 and 3 you can see the uh, border of that our uh, radio button also you can use the uh, radius property set the radius 5 and apply for radio button 2 and 3 also so you can see the uh, radius is applied in all the radio buttons change value to 5 to 10 so you can see the effect on our radio button control so this is the basic style sheet let's customize the our indicator so use the indicator 
rectangle and here we set the first id okay so my radio button one indicator okay this is the id and also set the height width of our indicator so here we set the 40 or also set the height is 40 and set the radius okay so just simply divide the width divide by 2 so this is our radius or also set the uh, position so here we have to set the x position is and y position for the y position just simply apply the uh, basic calculation just simply minus the current height height of your radio button minus your indicator height and divide by t2 to get the center location of your uh, indicator or also you can set the border color here so let's pick one border color for our radio button so now let's select this one okay also you can set the border width set the uh, 3 okay so let's copy this line of or also you can set the uh, anchor margin so set here 5 now just simply copy with this code here we also set the uh, color for uh, when select uh, combo uh, radio button is selected or not so let's set, set the uh, here single condition so when radio button is checked then we select uh, set the uh, pick any one color let's set select this one okay and otherwise we use the transparent okay now just simply copy this whole code and apply for the radio button 2 and 3 just change the here your id Now let's run the application. So you can see the style sheet of our radio button indicator. Also you can see the current event or current status of the our radio button. So by this way you can easily set the uh, radio button style sheet or you can use the uh, check change event of your radio button control or you can just simply use the row for to display your uh, radio button controls. Also you can use the row instead of column. You can use the column instead of row. So by this way you can easily manipulate your layout. So please drop your comment if you have any questions about how to use the radio button control in our QTQ ML application and please like this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get the not and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video. Thank you.